Welcome back to this week's video, you guys. Uh, we're going to be getting back on the van stuff again, obviously. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing, so let me show you real quick. This front end is just still a little too high for me, so we're going to be taking it all apart, putting the ball joints on, cutting the springs, and getting smaller tires, and dropping the front end where it needs to be. It's still it's two inches too tall, so I'll probably set up a time lapse because you guys have already seen me taking it apart and all that. And I'll show you when I cut the springs and stuff like that. Yeah, hey, buddy. Yeah. Set. Let's get on it. Gotta drop this down. Hopefully, the spring don't shoot out at me. All right, you guys, I'm gonna try to drop this spring down carefully. Oh, All right, you guys, we're gonna attempt to get these ball joints out of here. And then we'll cut the springs a little later on. All right, you guys, got this big old mess set up. Oh. On the right size here. Are we on our action? There she is. on these ball joints. Huh? Selling them? Huh? Selling them? Still them. <laughs> no, silly. What did you say? I said no, silly. Yeah, I saw something silly. I'm going to show them for you. Yes, you will. 
Here's the old busted ball joint for the passenger side. Like it's kind of hard to show you how loose it is. One hand, but see that? This bad boy won't move. That one's a little bit shorter, but I think it'll still work. I don't know why that's so much taller, but it only got the threads on. I guess that's why it doesn't have that extra tip on the top. The tippy top. All right, let's get the other one out. So I knock her out here now. Well, after hours of talking to it, I finally got her out. She took a little bit of convincing. Got the, oh, got the new one right here. It's a non-greasable, which makes no sense. I ordered two of the same part numbers and one came non-greasable. So maybe it's an old part, I don't know. Let's get them thrown together. All right, you guys, I already went ahead and uh, pulled this side all apart and replaced both upper and lower ball upper and lower ball joints. And um, next what we're going to do is take the caliper and the soft line off. The soft line's way up in there. I got to figure out how. I'm letting it sit in PB Blaster right now. I'm going to break it loose later on. Uh, excuse me, next couple of days. And uh, after that... Cut the springs. I haven't done that yet because I want to show you guys what I'm doing there. And put it back together. I got new shocks coming too as well. Put it back together and put the my friend's tires on and see how they match up. People tell me I'm, I have to cut this lip, but I really don't want to cut this if I don't have to. I can bend it in. I'd rather do that than cut anything because they just don't seem right to me. I don't want to cut that. But if I have to, I mean, it's what it is. If this fan ain't in perfect shape, it's starting to, not on this side, but the other side, it's bubbling out. And which that ain't no big deal. I can fix that. I can weld it, weld it in the crack. And if I ever paint it, I can fix it, make it look right. Just make it have a smaller lip. But cut the springs, like I was saying, put it back on. I'm cutting it an inch off the springs to give me two inches off the body. So on. It'll cut it down two more inches, obviously. What else was I going to say? Oh, for those wondering what my spindles were, well, are, they're 1.25 inch spindles. Or they're, they're spindles for the 1.25 rotor, I'm sorry. And I got them off eBay. I got the cheapest thing I could find. 
That's why we're all cheap. And we're gonna have to figure something out about my flex tube pipe on that passenger side because it's sitting way too low. I'm, I'm betting you a dollar, if I even have a dollar after I'm done with this, that it's gonna touch the ground when I drop this thing back on the ground. It's gonna be dirt nasty low. The jack's gonna get stuck. It's gonna frustrate me. I'm gonna go from being able to change my oil from crawling underneath it to having to jack it up every single time. Oh, look at this. This van ain't in the perfect shape. See, they shot, looks like they shot a screw from factory straight through here, busted out the sidewall to put these stupid, uh, these chrome things that go around the wheel wells that we took off in the previous video. I still gotta get all the screws out, but enough yapping. I'll see you guys when I get this thing back together. All right, you guys, we're gonna get start start cutting on these uh, springs here. I marked them down just a little bit past, or a little bit uh, further than one inch. I don't wanna cut too much, because I don't wanna be too low, but I need to be at least two inches lower. So I cut, I'm about to cut one inch off the coils to give me two inches off the body. So let's get started on cutting these. Got them cut down, let's start throwing it back together. Get this thing seated right. Jacked, jacked up so I get the spindle back on. Maybe too much, we'll see. All right, both sides are back together. I just gotta put the calipers on, put the new brake lines on, put the sway bar bushings, bolt them back on, and bleed the brakes, and I put this thing back on the ground. Don't mind the hair, it's messy, I know. I just got out of bed, of course. But uh, I gotta get my butt to work, so we'll get back on this maybe tonight when I get home. I don't know, maybe not. Let's see you guys when we get back on it, that's for sure. Alright you guys, I already got this shock on. What I'm going to try to do now is see if I can get this uh, brake line off this hose. The soft line off the hard line. So I can replace this brake hose and brake caliper. All 
All right, I got this stud off here. Let's break this banjo bolt loose. Make sure you get your uh, washers. Got the new caliper here, and I don't ever remember them actually giving you the new hardware for these, so that's kind of nice. Broke that line loose and got oil everywhere for no reason. Or brake fluid, I should say, not oil. Don't yell at me. Up and under here. Need something to sit this thing on. I'll grab something in a second. We got this side all back together on the brakes. Um, all we gotta do now, I got the dust shield back on too. I forgot to put that on. I put it back together. So I had to put that back on. But all we have to do now is bolt on the sway bar put the brake pads back on and bleed the brakes and then this side will be done and i gotta do the same thing the other side the other side still needs to get the new caliper and new brake hose so we'll get on it in a little bit floating up all my old metal so i can throw it out in the alley and give it to somebody who wants it just the way i can scrap it the old scrappy scrapper we went and got my buddy's El Camino wheels off of, I forget what year it is, 70's El Camino. And these are 215, uh, let's see, 215, 70, 15's. And I guess the lug pattern's a little bit off because I can't get them lined up. This is the, the size wheels that everybody gets once they drop the front ends on these vans five inches. And they'll have to adjust the fender wells a little. But these are the wheels size tires I'm going to be running on the chrome wheels I got down there. And yeah, that sucks. I'm going to have to get tires mounted on this, these wheels here. It is what it is, but it's just going to sit here until I can get them done. Well, we just picked up some uh, 215 70 15s for the van from a used tire store. And that's the same, same uh, tire store that the van came from originally back in like, I think my dad bought it in 2004, something like that, 2003. Pretty, pretty early 2000s he bought that. Might have been later, might have like 2007, I don't know. Look back at the title, it still say on there. We bought two used tires, paid $100 for them. That's the amount of them and everything. I still got the two bigger 235s that uh, was on it. I might try to post those up for sale. He was gonna give me some money back, he said like 30 40 bucks but i paid almost close to 100 dollars a piece on them tires if not more it might have been around 100 bucks i'm sure it was but they're brand new i've only drove on that van on them wheels a handful of times not very long i mean they're brand new still so i'll post them on marketplace and somebody will probably be interested in them they're brand new i got paperwork to prove it so that's that's always good there too but once i get back to the house well, i might work right now at my lunch or get me something to eat once I get back home, I'm gonna throw those wheels on and bleed the brakes and drop it down and see what it looks like. I'm ready to see it. I'm excited. Ready to see this thing drop down to the ground? We went ahead and already uh, bled the brakes, put the wheels on. Man, I had a big buddies over here helping me. Um, I've already seen what it looks like, so I'm doing this for you guys' sake. So I'm thinking about you guys. So we're gonna act like I didn't already see this. But let's just say you're in for a treat. Oh. 
Look at that, you guys. I'm gonna leave the jack there. It's, well, once I pull the jack out, it's not much of a difference. But I gotta jack it back up. I'll show you guys here in a second. But, there is a very little gap, so we're gonna do something pretty serious about that. Let me show you guys real quick, up close and personal. Now that is dirt nasty low. That's the three inch drop spindles, 15 inch wheels, and an inch cut off the spring. And you can see here, the gap in here is very, very small to none. So we're gonna come in here and cut right off this edge in the inside, cut it clean off, and that'll give me my clearance. And for you guys to yell at me, this thing, if I work at a body shop, if it ever becomes a problem, I will weld, weld in here, or do something. I'll do something in here to clean this edge up, make it smooth, instead of all jagged. But it's got chips. It's starting to bubble. On the bottom of my sliding door, she's rusting all the way down. She's got a little bit of a cancer, I guess you could say, but I can fix any of the things that become an issue on this when they become an issue. But cutting a fender well lip is not going to be an issue as my dog eats whatever he's got in his mouth. But trust me, guys, it's not gonna be an issue on this thing. Uh, the front wheels, I got from the, actually I got the wheels from the same place this van came from. It's called Maryland Street Tire. So the fronts are 215s, 70, 15s. The rear are 235, 75, 15s. So they're quite a big difference. So if I were to put these big, meaty things on the front they wouldn't have fit at all so that's why we had to go smaller on the front they wouldn't have these are barely fitting so you gotta do something pretty drastic in the rear and i don't know it might have a with the bigger wheels in the back it might have a little bit of a I forget what they call it uh, that's on the tip of my tongue rake it may have a little bit of a rake to it which would be cool i guess but i love the way she's sitting right now it looks freaking sweet we went ahead and jacked her back up. We're gonna cut this lip off in here to give us about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of clearance. So we're gonna probably cut from like, to this screw to probably like right here. Just cut it clean and straight back. And I got some paint left from whenever we did the visor up there. So if we need some touch up, I got some. Maybe even put some like POR 15 in there too. So I'm sure she's crusty up underneath. Don't you guys pay no attention to that back there? Don't be looking at that. Next day, you guys, uh, we just sold those tires like I said we would. Got a hundred bucks out of them. So that beats the $40 the used tire store was gonna give me. Which I figured I'd get what I was asking for, the brand new tires. So that's good. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting this thing for some clearance. I just took a guess of where to stop at. I cut it and rolled it in. Same over here. Looks like crap in here, I know. Pretty scary looking. Might have to get some touch up and touch all this rust up. I did nick it one time, or two times actually, but I'm a, I may find a color for this because this seems to be painted all through here anyways. And just tape this off. Tape that off and dust some brown on here. That won't be no big deal. Or just touch it up and just touch some little spots up too as well. Uh, next thing I want to do is, let me show you. Turn that exhaust clamp right there because right now it's hitting, well it's about to hit the ground. I don't know that it's going to, but I'm sure it will.
tighten her up. That's tight enough. Cut her back down after cutting it. We're sitting pretty low, you guys. Seems to be doing okay. It's a little bit bumpier than what it should be. But obviously, it's lowered, so it ain't gonna ride the greatest no more. I think the rear end might be touching the frame. It's hard to tell. This thing just feels really bouncy. I'm about to hit some train tracks, but Anybody that has lower vehicles know you can't hit these train tracks going 190. I did okay. If we have the C-notch in the back of it, that's okay. We'll do it eventually. I'll have to get somebody to record me going by, see what it looks like. I'll drop by my dad's house and see what he thinks. Got the van pulled back in the garage. Been driving it for a little bit. Looks good. I threw some stickers on it. Love the way it's starting to look. Uh, got some mud flaps coming for this. I actually already have them. That's gonna be the next video for you guys. But I think that's gonna be it for this week on this. As I'm kneeling on the ground, that is gonna be it for this week, you guys, on this van. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed watching how I lowered it. Hope it helps some of you guys out. Uh, now this thing looks awesome, I think, in my opinion. Love the way it looks. There's things we got to line out on it still. But that's going to be it this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share. Keep coming back to me. I'll keep posting. So uh, peace out.